Hi everyone, I'm Craig Cayetano, Green Party candidate for Hawthorne Town Council in Ward 3. Today was the day everybody's been waiting for. Hawthorne finally received their mail-in ballots. So I know you've probably seen a bunch of posts either from friends or family and a couple of these videos. We're going to take our own approach to this. But first, I have to give a quick shout out to our postal service workers for delivering these to us in a timely manner. Now, before I crack open this, I am going to take a second because you're going to need this because we have a few things we have to cover here tonight. Cheers. Thank you for being patient with these mail-in ballots and you're going to definitely love this walkthrough. So, here's our ballot. We're going to take it out of the original envelope. There's a few pieces in here. We're not going to need that. So, inside, you're going to have one envelope, a postage paid envelope, a letter from the county clerk's office in English and Spanish explaining why we are voting by mail, instructions on how to complete this in both English and Spanish, and also how to return it. And then finally, the ballot itself. Now, the ballot this year in our county is gonna be broken off into columns. In Ward 3, you have our column here for a special election for town council. So that's the only difference between other residents of Hawthorne and those in Ward 3. So as you go through this, you're going to select your choice in each column. You're going to use a pencil, blue or black ink. As a green, I'm going to vote here for 1D for Hawkins and Walker. And down here for U.S. Senate, 2D for Madeline Hoffman. Make your other choices. You have also your Board of Education. You're going to choose up to three uh, members for Board of Education. And of course, our Ward 3 race. We're located this year at 6D. So you're going to fill the circle in completely. And then flip your ballot over and check out your ballot questions. Three major questions that you definitely want to vote on one way or the other. Once completed, you're going to fold your ballot up. You're going to come to this one with the yellow marker. On the front of it, you're going to fill out your name, address, and sign to validate the ballot. You're going to open this up, slide the ballot in, and then remove the adhesive strip and fold this over. If anybody assisted you on this, you're going to have them sign here. You're then going to take this into your return envelope, which has postage paid, a spot for a return. Slide your ballot with name out towards the window, like so. So your name's going to be visible. If you have somebody returning your ballot on your behalf, they're going to fill out and sign here. You're then going to remove this adhesive, close this over. Now your ballot is complete and ready to be returned. So there are a few different ways you can do this. You can drop it in the mail. You can return it to our secure ballot drop box, which is located behind Borough Hall, which is well lit and under video surveillance 24 seven. You can also go to the county clerk's office in Patterson, or you can wait until election day. Go to your polling location, which is now for Ward 3, the high school. You can then return it to a poll worker there. For those that don't want to take advantage of the mail-in ballot, on election day, you can go to the high school and cast a paper provisional ballot, if you so choose. So I want to take a few minutes here and basically let you know how to complete the ballot, where to drop it off. And thank you again. Hopefully you're going to support us at, on 6D for Craig. Thanks again.